Okay, for this project, what you're going to need is some finite screwdrivers. Uh, you can get this pack at Radio Shack for around ten dollars. Uh, that comes with all the tips and detachable heads. Um, you can also get these uh, just individual screwdrivers at Walmart. And um, these with the detachable heads, um, you got to be careful not to lose the heads. They just come in the case like that. Uh, those I just have in my regular toolkit. You're also going to need um, some needle nose pliers and some Q-tips for wiping down various things and getting rid of dust. You're also going to need some heat sink paste. I keep it in a plastic bag so just in case it leaks um, it doesn't go all over my toolkit which I keep it in there regularly and it came from Radio Shack for around like I think it was four dollars that I paid for it. So it's not that expensive. Um, I've used it, gosh, for almost a year now. I don't really see any expiration date for it. Uh, just make sure you massage the tube um, so it doesn't get solid. Because it will eventually turn to solid or turn to oil depending on what type you get. Um, this is the white paste type. So the computer we're working on is the uh, Gateway Series M1634U. has the HD graphics card. Um, it's the AMD Athlon dual core processor. ATI Radeon X1200 graphics card. That's on 128 megabytes. So this is basically how we start. We just uh, flip over the laptop so it's on its back. and uh, what you're going to notice is different panels. You're going to notice this panel, that panel, also the battery box. Um, we don't, we're not going to mess with the battery box on this one. So basically what you're going to do is um, detach that plate after you unscrew the screws this plate you're not going to bother with because the hard drives right under it. You're going to use the uh, finite tip Phillips screwdriver and you're going to unscrew this screw right here which is really the only screw that's holding it in. I can pretty much unscrew it with one hand because of uh, the way my screwdriver is made. It has this little uh, turning mechanism on the end so you can use it with one hand if you want to. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to pry up after you unscrew the screw all the way because they do have little washers in them. You're going to pry up on the uh, case and just pop it right off. So there's the case. You have to be sure not to pull up really hard because you see those little tabs right there on the top of it. You got to make sure not to break those. If you break those, you're pretty much uh, going to have to get a new plate for the back. So here's the internal mechanism. Here's the uh, processor chip with a heat sink on it. The heat sink uh, runs all the way around to the uh, the fan, and that's basically how you get heat sink cooling. Underneath the the fan uh, is the video card. We're gonna have to take off this whole component including the fan in order to get to the video card which the video card is what causing us the most trouble um, it's just overheating because we play you know high graphic games and uh, it's not too cool in here so basically what you're going to do is unscrew all of these miniature screws and be sure not to lose them and you're also going to take off the power cord that's hooked to the motherboard that's run off the fan that supplies power to the fan to cool down the heat sink. So, okay. so this is after we uh, have taken off that whole unit. It comes off in one piece. As you can see there's like a lot of uh, heat sink paste, paste and uh, heat sink uh, pads from where the manufacturer has put that in there and this heat sink pad is a actually damaged it would be a perfect square where it got too hot or too much pressure 
there's you can see like a full heatsink pad up there uh, but this one is damaged and it's going to have to be either repaired or just taken off and replaced with something that can absorb heat and uh, transfer heat better see it just flakes off so basically we're just going to have to clean off these with a q-tip that's what the q-tips are for and then you're going to use a screwdriver to scrape off anything that's crusted on there which I use a flathead screwdriver for that <clears throat> be real careful not to you know, scrape the chip or you can use a, uh, a razor blade it works better okay this is after we uh, clean off the chip you can see it's like you know really shiny now not too much debris after that's the graphics card after I clean it off <clears throat> also I have cleaned off <clears throat> excuse me uh, cleaned off the fan on the back side and also cleaned off the heat sink from the debris as well as you notice in the middle you're going to see that like uh, heat sink color it's where the they use Quicksilver the manufactured it. it's another form of um, heat sink compound where that has chipped off it has gotten so hot um, you can chip that all the way off I don't recommend it I mean it's still intact somewhat so just put paste on there and then just uh, you know rub it down smooth and put a little dab on there and then you're gonna put um, apply kinda heavy on those two chips you can you know brush that off a little bit with um, canned air or you can use a q-tip if you want notice this tape going down through here um, that sometimes gets unstuck you can just push it back down but what we're gonna have to do is unscrew all of these screws that are around this little teeny tiny ones make sure not to lose those and then uh, make sure to carefully peel this off with that back after you take off the screws it should come off in one piece so if you notice yeah this peels right up right there so after we you know take that off we're gonna have to clean the fan and various other things in there so this is after we've taken it off and you, know, you can see it did come off one piece um, around the edge you're gonna see you know a lot of dirt and right here getting closer is some hair and that's the most common thing um, that is clogging up your fans is hair and natural born air debris and uh, in between these blades you're going to need to clean also you need to put some oil on the center of the fan right there so it runs smoothly you can get um, gear oil at a hardware store or Radio Shack it depends on what kind of Radio Shack you can get but uh, we can take this whole unit off right here and just blow it out with canned air <clears throat> and clean off the heat sink bar make sure there's no dust on there because if it gets so hot it can cause fire or burning um, also gonna make sure that this is cleaned off around here and we're just gonna reapply heat sink paste to it and to there as well so three points of contact where you're going to apply the, the paste. Make sure it does not get on the motherboard. Okay. So this is after we applied the heat sink paste. I kind of applied it heavy on those. Um, it is going to cause excess but that's really what I want to do with this. And what I have done, you know, there's two, two things. You'll see a heat sink pad up here. I just chipped off, you know, shaved off a little edge right there because that's going to flatten out when I screw it back in on top of there. But I'm taking this heat sink pad I'm going to divide it up and kind of mold it into one. Make sure not to touch it with your fingers because it is kind of toxic. But I'm going to put it on top of the graphics card so that would repair the heat sink pad. So that's after we you know, got everything together and what the, the uh, needle nose pliers is for. Um, I do have a tendency to you know drop screws and things like that I don't want to use a magnetic screwdriver because if you get magnetic devices or a screwdriver near certain components in your laptop it can damage them such as the hard drive 
So I use that um, to pick up screws. And you can place the screws in the holes with that. And along with using your screwdriver while you're holding a screw, um, you won't be, be able to drop it that much. Also, if you drop it down in there accidentally by using your fingers, you can pluck it out with the um, needle nose pliers. So we just reassemble everything and it's back in the computer. And make sure to plug in your fan cord for power. And that is it. Just put the back back on and you're done.